Your prints can look perfect one week and then suddenly you're seeing layer shifts, ripples or strange vibrations through the print. The culprit? It could be loose belts. Today I'll show you how to quickly tighten the belts on the Bamboo Lab X1C so your prints stay sharp and reliable. The first thing you need to do is switch off the Bamboo Lab from the back and then also remove the top glass plate. It will also help a lot to be able to access the back of the machine so turn it around so you can. Using a suitable size allen key you need to loosen the screws in these two top areas. The critical point here is don't loosen the screws until they fall out. Just loosen them a little bit. So do it on the left side and then the right side. Both the top and the bottom screw on each side. You then want to move the print head forward and back and also left to right. Do this a few times and this will help align the belts again. Once you've moved it around a bit, move the print head back to the back left corner of the machine. Now again at the back of the machine you can re-tighten those screws on the belt tension pulleys. No need to over tighten them, just tighten them enough until it feels secure. Again ensure you do both left and right belt pulleys and also the top and bottom screws in each pulley. So it should be a total of four screws. You can then turn the machine around and put it back in its place. Put the top glass back on the machine and power it back on. It's also important to go and do a print calibration. So from the menu go to print calibration, make sure everything is selected, especially vibration compensation, hit start, and then just let it run through the calibration process. Might take 15 to 25 minutes. Once it's done, it should come up saying calibration complete and you can hit OK. And that's it. Now that your belts are tightened, the next thing you might often overlook is keeping the rails clean and lubricated. That makes just as much of a difference to the print quality. I'll cover this in a future video in my maintenance series guide. If you've found value in this video, then please consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and thanks for watching.